What up, Coop Group? Welcome to Season 27, War Number 1, where SAS takes on GT40. Now, last time we took on GT40, I had a terrible war, and they crushed us. So let's see how it goes this time. Sorry for the late video, by the way. I've been busy. If you don't know what I've been busy with, clearly you don't know my channel. But anyways, I've been at the Olympic Trials, so very sorry that I haven't posted this video earlier. But let's go. I know that GT40 is probably asking for my video. Although, they really wanted my video last time because I died three times in that war. Which is the only time I died at all last season. So, I'm going for a fully deathless season again. And I'm not going to let GT40 stop me. Though it's possible. <laughs> but anyways, we got some new defensive tactics and some old ones. But these tactics just aren't an issue at all. Really, it just takes an ex extra blocking, extra items, but still, not an issue. But I was back up in Section 1. Thank you so much to my officer, P-Mug, for putting me back up in Section 1 because I was busy competing and I was not in the mode at all to fight at all. But, mind you, no one tagged me at this time to move. It was great. Amazing. Because that's one of my goals this season is to not be tagged to be like, hey, where are you? You need to move. Now, yes, I can be tagged when someone wants help moving, but not tagged if I hadn't moved yet when I should have. Anyways, I'll be in path 8, section 2, and then I'll be taking too many bosses. So we only have four fights this war. Not an issue. We are losing already. Four deaths already. And mind you, this season, everyone's going to have zero to three deaths. So this war is probably already lost. But yeah, first fight is Warlock versus Storm. And I believe it's that node where the more buffs she has, the she can get more power. Now, it is unique buffs, and she only gets one buff, which is a prowess. So as long as I have one or more buffs, then she will not gain have any power gain at all. So as it shows here, my goal is to bait special one, not to have to deal with an unblockable special two. Now, I was told to throw an inbound boost for this fight. I'm kind of mad that I was told that because it's a super easy fight. But inbound boosts are a lot easier to get these days. And this season, I swear I'm going to be using so many of the 3-minute boosts. Um, but as you see, I'm going to put on a attack power boost because I have so much loyalty just to spend these days. This is high ground, so not an issue. I think she is a high ground defender. So if and when that buff is up on her, I take a little bit of extra block damage. And it's rich get richer, which means that for the amount of unique buffs she has more than me, she gets a power gain. But as long as I have Warlock, who has a armor up if i get a dexterity buff i am gonna start gaining power because that's two buffs compared to her one buff so as it says more buffs more power so if i can get a dexterity buff i can get some power gain but my goal here is just to bait special ones to not get special in the face and to evade special ones now yes i can throw a heavy attacks here not an issue i believe this defender is not running willpower gt40 is known to not run willpower like ever I'm not sure why I blocked that. I took a lot of block damage there. Not sure at all why I blocked that. Kind of silly. But high ground just activated. But with the special 2, I turned off high ground. Because any 10 hit combo meter that you get, when you go over 10 or multiple of 10, it turns it off. See, so yeah, I'm going to be special 1 here. It's unblockable. So now I'm going to fully evade it. Not sure why I blocked it earlier. Took a lot of block damage I shouldn't have taken. And yeah, this fight's super easy. Um, high ground's about to activate again, but I'm not, I'm gonna do a full combo again to turn it off, not gonna take any of that block damage. I am getting weakness debuffs, but again, not an issue. This fight is over just like that. Wasted an involved boost, but it's always good for a first fight when I'm not even, like, in the mindset of fighting in this game to put an involved boost. It is safer. So thank you to my officer for telling me to do that. Next fight is a mojo. Now, this fight used to be a lot harder because it used to have the node where, I think it's called Power From Afar, where basically, when you're far away from the defender, they get a power gain. But this node no longer has that. It now has, I think it's Feet of Indestructible 2. So when the attacker gets a special 2, the defender goes indestructible for 5 or so seconds. So I was told to use magic for this fight. And to start with a power start 1 boost. So I can get the special 2 and just lock his power gain from Kinetic Transference. And yeah, that's basically what I'm going to do. My goal here, as it says, is power lock. And if I can wait for the Feet Indestructible timer to go off without him getting a special 3 to throw my special 2, then I will do that. 
So that's kind of my goal here. I was kind of told to throw special twos right away, but I'm like, dude, if I throw special twos right away, it's going to be indestructible. It's going to waste so much of my damage. Plus, I have the Warlock Synergy. And see, I'm trying to wait that out. I have the Warlock Synergy, which means that my special twos are going to do even more damage. So I wait out the indestructible two there, throw my special two, perfectly timed where it does some good damage. Look, he's at 76% already from one special two. Now, if I can wait that out, which sometimes like right there, I cannot wait it out. If I can wait it out, I will. Now, sometimes I won't be able to, but he's power locked right now. He might throw a special soon, I think, into my block. But yeah, look, he's at 72, and I've just threw two more special twos. That means this whole fight, if I didn't wait this out, it's going to be so long. It's just based on basic attacks. So as you see here, I'm waiting it out. I waited out. I threw my special two, doing a bit more damage. I could have thrown on suicide here, but on lane eight, it's never a good idea because of the um, heal block. But yeah, he's basically power locked. So I'm good to go here, not trying to activate any buffs at all while, um, or not trying to dexterity anything, just blocking if I can. And yeah, these special twos doing some good damage if and when I can throw it. Glad he didn't hit me with that heavy attack because I could have done some good damage, but this is my only magic fight I'm doing anyways. So it's a pretty easy, but then, oh, then, oh my god, I forgot the Wi-Fi signal showed up and I was like, crap, oh, I'm glad it was after I threw um, a special because if it was during a combo, I probably would have gotten attacked hard. But anyways, waiting for the indestructible to go off. Just gone off. Throw my special two. Now, this fight is the only fight I died to two seasons ago. Well, one of the only fights I died to two seasons ago. And it was because I threw a special two too early. I believe I threw it like in a third hit, but then Mojo blocked. So, of course, I was a little bit scared for this. But this fight's almost over. Waiting out the indestructible. And yeah, I think one more special is probably going to do it. I am degening because he did get up to five haters. So I'm like, crap, that could be bad. But also, it may not be bad. Going to wait out this indestructible. And hopefully, after this indestructible is over, this fight will be over. It was a bit longer, a lot longer than it should have been and normally been if and when there was power from afar not feed indestructible too. But fight down, that worked out pretty well. Now into fight three. This is node, I think, node 50. And there's a Punisher 2099 here. This is one of two of the best placements for Punisher 2099. Because if and when he gets a regen buff, he goes unblockable because of Vigorous Assault. And it's not pretty if he has a special and he goes unblockable. So my goal here is to watch out for the unblockable. And basically make sure when he goes unblockable and regening, either one, just kill him off quicker. Or two, make sure he does not have a special during that period. Because if he has a special, I'm going to die. <laughs> I think I put on Invon Boost, another one this war. Just in case he goes unblockable, I was kind of told to do it anyways. But the Invon Boost is mainly for the next fight, the um, Hawkbuster on a node which I never take during season. <laughs> but they saw I have a Hyperion, and they gave me that fight. But anyways, I'm going to try and get this fight over before that 3-minute boost is over, so I don't have to throw on one more Invon Boost this war. I'm already at 3 3-minute three boosts this war. I don't feel like doing more. Now, yeah, they are more readily available, but yeah. I'd rather not have to use them all in three wars. So this defender is not running willpower. Again, GT40 is known to just, on the defense, waste their units and not run willpower. It, it, it does make it a little bit harder, but it really isn't the hard of a fight. It really isn't. Um, I think I, yeah, I still had... No, I didn't have it on anymore. Because I put on the Mystic Power Boost and I put on another Tech Power Boost here. Scratch that. Actually, I never put on a Mystic Power Boost for that magic fight. Although, maybe I should have. I think I was afraid of getting too many special twos being indestructible the whole fight. But anyways, so I still have my attack Power Boost up from the Storm X fight. So it's working pretty well. Before he goes unblockable, I'm baiting specials. Kind of my goal here. Now, this is my last Warlock fight, so I can take as much damage as I want. Boom, he gets his, um, his regen, but he has Infections up. And then I not think I say stupidly through that. But I stupidly threw a special one. I should have just kept the um, the infections up. I wasn't even thinking. But his regen is done. No more vigorous assault. Now time to just finish off this fight. And just kill this guy. I think I threw a special one just to waste more time. Not get stuck in the corner. But throw a special one here. Just to finish him off. Boom. Pleasure 29 is dead in one and a half minutes. I have a minute left for the inbound boost. For this Hawkbuster fight. Now this Hawkbuster fight. It shouldn't be a hard fight. 
but this is my first time taking Node 53 in season, in like, four seasons. So yeah, I have that Invon Boost fight up, and I am going to put on a, I think, a Cosmic Special Boost. I'm not going to put on a Cosmic Power Back Boost, because I'm not going to be throwing Special 2s in this fight, just Special 3, and then all Special 1s for the Incinerate. Now for this Stun Vulnerability fight... If and when you put, I think, a Poison or an Incinerate up on the Defender, then you can parry them for a slight amount of time. But if they don't have an Incinerate up or a Poison up, then basically you cannot, um, cannot parry them. So, only parry when the time is off and throw a Special 3 first just so I can get the extra damage from, I don't know, I don't know what it's called, but I am shocked. But I'm not too worried. I can beat special ones and I can heavy counter his special one. I'm not going to, but I can. Now I have to be careful during that parry to make sure that the parry doesn't last while the stun timer switches from okay to not okay. So yeah, I actually didn't get any incinerates on that one at all. Now I am throwing special ones just to test out the waters uh, to see when I can parry and when I can't and to see how much damage it does. But now that I'm past the special one, I need to only throw special threes. So I'm doing a lot of block damage. I was afraid I was going to parry there, but I didn't. Um, also, this node is you can only gain power when the defender has a, a um, damage over time debuff. Or when you have a power gain. So Hyperion has a power gain, so it's really easy to gain power uh, through the node where I have incinerates up. And for the power gain. So yeah, super easy fight so far. I'm at 91-ish percent. He's at 50%. It's going decently well. And just keep playing like this. Keep throwing special ones over and over. If and when I can, can't parry right there because I get parried back. But I do have an indestructible boost on if and when I need to throw it. And I'm over at special two again, which means I can't throw it. So I have to wait for a special three again. <sighs> Got a special three, but now I'm going to bait out special one of his. Really easy to bait out. Um, and it, plus I get the armor breaks. And with willpower, I get to heal up a little bit, which is really nice. I was at 91%. Now I'm at 94. Thank you for the armor breaks. Fight's almost over. Now I'm just going to do some block damage and just block or bait special ones if I can. Now I could have done some intercepts, but I'd rather be safe and not get smacked in the face. <laughs> doing a lot of block damage there, but it's fine. Thought I had a special one there ready, but I didn't. The power gain is so slow right now. But by the time he throws a special one, I should have my special one. And there it is. Fight's almost over. It's the last fight of the war. Now this war did not go too great. We had a lot of death and people were not ready for this war. Um... But I still think that we did pretty well. We're under 10 deaths. Although last season, I believe our battle group was a lot better than this. So yeah. Oh, look. They placed a the purgatory. That has like no health. I, I believe Dreamin um, fought that purgatory. He posted in his video. Check out his channel. But anyways, four fights this war. Zero deaths, zero potions. I was called on to um, to move zero times. Now, I was called on to help give energy for Dreamin and for everyone else. But... That wasn't being called on because I wasn't moving because I was being, like, arrogant and not moving. But anyways, tag zero times. Warlock two fights, Magic one, one for Hyperion. And I believe the next few wars shouldn't be as bad. I still am traveling and have my trials. So sorry again for the late video, but I'll get out as soon as I can. Now, I did get a kill here. I believe my Tiger got a kill. So I'm so happy about that, um, considering that I only had four fights this war. And hopefully I'll get more fights this season. But again, for the times when I am at trials and busy, my officer has been very nice and given me a few less fights. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later. This is Coop signing off. Happy gaming.